Good morning, everyone. It is really a true honor to welcome the Prime Minister of the UK to the capital of the United States. He has been welcomed earlier on the other side of the capital, and now it's my privilege to welcome to the House. I had the privilege earlier, a few days ago, in the UK, as, as I was participating in the G7 Heads of Parliament meeting, uh, to visit with the Prime Minister uh, to, in, in every chance we get, to celebrate our special relationship between the United Kingdom and the United States, uh, to thank him for his leadership in hosting the COP26 in Glasgow uh, in a few, week, a few weeks from now, and also uh, to talk about how we can work together, not only on climate, but on COVID, on counterterrorism, so many issues that relate to uh, the security and well-being of our two countries. I was just showing the Prime Minister a picture of when Winston Churchill came to speak to the Congress, 1941, the day after Christmas, a few weeks after Pearl Harbor. And it was a, an historic, he said at the time, his mother was born in America, and maybe yes. under other circumstances he might be in that audience. But happily for the world, he came as the Prime Minister at that important time. Uh, why it was special to me is my father is in that picture, Thomas D'Alessandro from Baltimore, Maryland, listening to the Prime Minister of the UK, uh, of Great Britain uh, at that time, uh, Winston Churchill. And now today, we welcome another Prime Minister. And it is with great pleasure that I present the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson. Mr. Prime Minister. Well, th thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker Pelosi. It's a great, great uh, honor to, to be here with you, and uh, I much enjoyed welcoming you, welcoming you to, to number 10 just a few days ago, and fantastic to see that picture of, of your father uh, with, with Winston Churchill. Absolutely amazing. I had, I had, I had uh, no idea that that had taken place. Uh, uh, folks, everybody, listen, I just want you to know that for me, it's, it's a, a very important moment coming here to, uh, to, to Speaker Pelosi's office, because all my life, uh, America has stood for uh, some ideals, and uh, their freedom, uh, equalities, uh, human rights, uh, but above all, democracy. Democracy, the principle that the people should choose their government, and the people alone should choose their government. And uh, the sad thing about the world today is that that fundamental principle is not uncontested. There are plenty of parts of the world where they don't think democracy really matters that much and that you can have all sorts of systems that are just as good, if not better. And I vehemently disagree. And it is vital for the world that America stands up for that principle in the way that the US government does and the way that uh, everybody on Capitol Hill does. And I, I thank you. And I just want you to know that you can count on us in the, in the UK to help you, Speaker Pelosi. I hope you had a good time with, with Speaker, Speaker Hoyle the other day. In the northwestern In Chorley. Of, in, in Chorley. Chorley. In beautiful Chorley. You were in Chorley. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. And I just want you to know that uh, we stand by you uh, shoulder to shoulder with you in, in sticking up for our values, our beliefs in uh, in democracy in, and in sticking up for, for parliaments and assemblies of the people around the world. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.